Hey everybody, this is Ben, and welcome back to Hacknet OS. Uh, so, last time I finished up right after Bit here, uh, we're talking about Maiden Flight. Uh, he wanted me to crack into, hack into, crack, port, port hack, whatever. <laughs> crack the port, hack into the computer and crack the ports, apparently, something like that. Um, and on one of his old test servers. So we've got that added bitwise test PC down here. So let's let's check this out. Uh, so probe system, just easy enough to do. So if I click on one of these, like ports required for crack. All right, cool. Let's do uh, what we can do. SSH. We have the SSH, right? That's SSH crack 22. Bam. Insufficient memory. Oh. Well, that's. Insufficient privileges. Uh, uh, Alright, so if I log in, cancel. Um, hmm. Interesting. Well, let's try... What if I do, like, the, the web port? Let's just do port 80. Hacker port, incompatible service for this executable. Execution failed. Okay. Um, yeah. It's gotta be port 22, SSH. Insufficient memory. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if I am missing something or what. It seems like this shouldn't be this difficult. Open ports required for crack. Open ports, they're all like locked down. So if I do like a port hack, too few ports are open to run, okay. Open additional ports, okay. So then we do SSH crack 22. Insufficient memory. What? Wait, what is that? What is that telling me? Oh, wait a second. Was all that. Was all my hints and tips using up memory? <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, it was. Whoa, I had no idea. Wow. Just wow. Okay, cracking. Bloop. Awesome. Okay, so. Forget leaving the hints and, and tips stuff open. That's that's crazy. I didn't even pay to. I didn't know that was like the RAM that it was. Oh my god, <laughs> this game is awesome, you guys. All right, so if you're watching, if you're all interested in this playing this game, um, it is fairly story based from what I picked up about it and read about it from the website. So if you want to play it. I, I wouldn't normally say this, but go go play it now. Play it now, and then come back and watch me play it. <laughs> but if you don't want to play it, then just keep watching. I'm, I'm going to do my best to this one. All right, I'm the administrator of this system. Sweet. All right, let's check this out. Nothing. Logs. We will clear the logs. Boot config. OS config. What we got here? Home. Oh, my gosh. Test file. Congratulations. You win. Very nice. Uh. Okay, lex server. Hobbs terminal guide.txt.txt. <laughs> nice. Any list of commands. Cat, change directory, list, change directory, replace. Oh, okay. Okay, replace file name string one with string two. Interesting. Move or renames. Okay. Simply specify this if you want to. Okay, so you, to move it, you just do move config slash miss. If you want to rename, then simply specify this string that you want to rename to, such as big dad old. Okay. Help file, read and absorb. Yeah, I should check that out. Fork bomb. Ooh. It's a useful pack button if you need to down a system in a hurry. You'll need admin rights for this one. You can fork bomb your own system as a defensive measure. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that one. Fork bomb. It's not specified. Very strange. Very strange command. Shell sets up a remote host on a system where you have admin access. This can be run on your own system as a defensive measure. See trap for details. Okay, this I think I need to read that help file a bit more. Um, auto log reports. Oh my god, there is just like so much data. That's a binary file, obviously. IRC log. 
I should bomb something, and it's off the cuff remarks like that that are the reason I don't log chats, just in case the FBI ever needs anything on me. Elise Ann, I'm sure they can just get it from someone who does log chats. FBI has joined GameCube Cafe. We saw it anyway. FBI has quit. Ha 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 ha. Oh, hilarious. Hilarious people on IRC. Nothing there. More IRC logs. What's up? I come over here so we can fuck. Uh... <laughs> want me to come over today so we can fuck? Wait, did you want to speak to my daughter? Yes, Mrs. Miller. <laughs> oh, so cute, so cute. Very nice. Little parcel tongue joke there. AFK tornado. Very yeah. Okay, so these are all just like little tidbits. They're just almost like jokes. All right, all right, all right. So I got in, I think that's all he wanted me to do. This thing, this this looks like a key of some kind. I'm gonna have to try to remember that. I mean, this is literally so much, so much stuff. Oh, there, yeah, the X server that sis. Okay, so what? Oh God, I have a lot of log files here. L D E X server. Interesting. Oh, it's config. String of binary. Oh, that also looks like. No, congratulations, you win. All right. Anyway, so let's uh, let's go into logs. Clear our tracks. Oh, more quickly, please. <laughs> this is hacking, people. This is the this is the real world of hacking. You, there's no shortcuts. You need time, which I do believe comes into play later. So then we're just gonna disconnect, pop back home. So he was talking about like you could, what was it? Um, split bomb, was it called? For, fork bomb, fork bomb. All right, uh, let me go ahead and check out page two of the help. Probe, yep, exe, that's all available executables. Includes hidden and embedded executables. Oh, well, nice. Disconnect, fine. Cat, open CD tray. Open the connecting computer CD tray. <laughs> oh, that's great. Reboot. The I flag reboots instantly. Very good to know. Replace. So you can replace text in a file. Analyze. Okay, solve. Firewall solution. Uh, attempts to solve the firewall of target machine to allow UDP traffic. Interesting. Okay, let's go on to page three. Uh, help three. Oh, it's very short. Login. Requests a username and password to log into the connected system. Upload. Okay, so I can upload a file. Clear. Clears the terminal. Very helpful. Okay. Uh, help fork bomb. It seemed to interpret that as page one. Didn't didn't recognize it. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Anyway, so we're on the email. Uh, let's just reply uh, and say fork bomb sounds fun. Add that. Send something in return. Great. Nice work. Here's where it's going to start getting harder. I need to ask a favor. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. It's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is there's some logs on a few computers that I prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. If you haven't been, start now. I have been, actually. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just go in there and RM asterisk the whole thing. Never forget to. Thanks, good luck, bit. Okay, request details. Oh God, what? Okay, this one I got. Okay, use delete all files in the target. Yeah, look at how much memory this shit uses. That's insane. Use it carefully and delete. I wonder if I can really hose up some computers. <laughs> um, using probe, port hack. Scan for, oh, I haven't been scanning for adjacent nodes. I gotta do that. I keep forgetting that one. 
Okay, so let's do... Let's come back here. Scan. Scan complete. No adjacent nodes, apparently. Log. Remove all the logs. DC. All right. Oh, wow. There's still... It has a disconnect log. Oh, well, at least they won't know what I've done. They will know I've been there, though. Okay, the Viper Battle Station. Gonna real quick um, scan. Aha, there is there is a, a uh, there is a neighbor. Uh, remove all the logs. Done. DC. Now, what's this? Entropy Asset Cache. Hmm. Okay, let's probe this system. Firewall detected. Ooh. Okay. I may not be ready for that one if there's a firewall. Uh, I can definitely get I can definitely get in, but I don't know about that firewall being an issue. Let's go with his assignment real quick. Um, so I don't need the notes. Uh, link. I need the link. There it is. Okay. Let's, let's disconnect from him. Uh, P. Anderson's bedroom PC. Okay, probe this system. Uh, open up port 22. SSH crack. And once we get in here and clear this guy's logs out, I think we will... Uh, port hack. Do 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 do. We're in. Very nice. I am the administrator. Okay, so number one, let's scan. Scan complete. Well, that was really quick. Okay, file system. Uh, home documents. Oh, my God. Laptop police report. Tax return. Oh, it's binary. Work. Report email draft. Nothing inclusive got lead. Laptop was stolen at convention. Contained the dossier reports. How to copy the most likely one over here. Question mark, what's your I had? We'll submit with details of what we found soon. Okay. Um, uh, let's see here. So yeah, this has got me, the admin. Now wait, yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so, oh, valencedossier.pdf. Very interesting. Okay, let's real quick. Nothing there. Sis, all the same. Okay. So, documents. Laptop. Uh, convention insurance won't cover. Personal insurance not declared prior to incident. Do you declare valuables before they were stolen? Yes, of course. <laughs> Police can investigate, can't cover. Alright, cool. Police number. Oh, interesting. Claim number. Hey, I can... Take his stuff. Uh, chat log. Are you guys ready to stream? Hot rice. Kid, it depends. Are you ready to die? LOL. Shut up, Johnson. Don't make me get the peanut butter and microchips. It was one goddamn time. <laughs> one time is all it takes. Whereas, Hellerfant. Anyone heard from him? No one really knows where he is. Mystical, magical beast who just appears when you least expect it. Seriously, our streaming schedule is messed up. Every time I hop on, it's not what I expected. The schedule is a mess of guesswork and broken dreams. <laughs> oh, they're trying to run like a, a gaming stream or something. All right, doesn't, oh wait, personal letter draft. Oh, dad. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's dig into his personal life. I know, you don't under, I know you don't understand the choices that I've made and I don't expect you to. What I do expect, however, is the common decency to respect those choices and to continue treating me as your child until you're willing, you're willing to that. I'm sorry, but I need to leave Boston. I can't bear to be in the same city knowing that my hero, my role model, is living in the same place, ignoring my existence. I've tried my hardest to be accommodating, understanding, and to try and explain this transition, but I can't handle it anymore. I'm going to head out to LA with James. If you want to talk, you have my numbers. Please know that I haven't made this decision lightly. This is something that I have to do, and I hope that in time you will learn to accept me for who I really am. I love you, Paul. All right, good for you, man. Good for you. Let's clear those logs. All right, I'm gone. Let's uh, clear out bit. All right. Disconnected. 
Great. I think that uh, accomplished it. So, entropy asset cache. That's super interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just quick do this and see what Bit says next. Uh, okay. He's been a little sloppy. Some logs that I prefer weren't there. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, let's send it. Cool. Where to from here? All right, if you see this, then you've done well, and, well, all this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I realize that I just don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn. I don't have time to do any of it, so I'm going to need to ask something more. There's a group that goes by Entropy that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more. When you're ready, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass a proxy server. A few shells, open using the command shell, running on computers you've already got admin access on should be able to overload it. Huh, okay. Good luck and thank you. Bit PS, I almost forgot if you run into trouble, I've linked the Network Education Archive server too. It's got a lot of useful info on it. Okay, Network Education Archives. Let's do that. Oh, this is the entropy, oh, the asset cache. Entropy test server. Let's add that one. Very interesting. And proxy server info. Let's take a look at this. Few notes on proxy servers. A classic entropy challenge. Run shells on computers you have admin access to with shell. Connect to a target computer, probe its security. Use the shells to overload target proxy. Net EDU archives will have more details. All right, so this is a good place to cut this episode off. It's been a little bit, a tad smidge on the long side, but you know, there's a lot to read and learn here. And that's, that is what this game is going to be. It's, it's a lot of reading and learning. Um, their particular brand of hacking. So I'm going to cut this episode off here. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you are enjoying HackNet OS. And I will be reviewing the NetEDU archives before, uh, I think before I start up the next episode. So I will hopefully have a pretty good handle on how I'm supposed to proceed. Thanks and I'll catch you in the next episode.